Welcome to this series on cooking with The Microbiome Expert. We're going to talk about a wide variety of food and cooking topics. This is the carnivore diet, along with this. Does that really seem like something healthy you should be eating all of the time, 100% of the time? I don't think so. Does it look delicious? Absolutely. Do I eat the stuff? Do I recommend eating it? Absolutely. But 100% of your meals? I think not. Now, I understand that when you eat carnivore, that you're reacting to fewer foods. In fact, recently I had a consultation, one person down to eating just beef, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, just beef. Sounds boring, and it's also not good for your microbiome as well. There's no fiber here. Everything's protein and fat, which again, tastes great. It's wonderful stuff, but it's terrible for the microbiome. So when people go carnivore, which I hear all the time, and for example, in my comments on YouTube, they say, well, I feel better on carnivore. It makes me feel better. I'm not reacting to food. And I understand that. I don't doubt that at all. Odds are you're not going to react to animal-based foods like you would react to plant-based foods. And I understand that. That's just a fact of how things are. But you're not addressing the root cause. You're avoiding the problem. You're going into a process of food elimination. So oftentimes in my consultations, people will tell me they start going in radical diets. I hear a lot. Someone said, well, I tried the vegan. Then I went carnivore. Like, talk about go from one extreme to the other, right? And I did the low FODMAPs and a keto and, and things worked temporarily or things didn't work at all. And yet, ultimately, they're coming to see me. Why? Because they're not addressing the root cause. They're eating these animal-based proteins, these animal-based foods, to avoid the things that they react to. But instead of doing that, we need to address the immune system, the upregulated immune system. We need to address the fact that your microbiome is dysbiotic. And you're only going to make it more dysbiotic by feeding it all these delicious things which do not feed the good bacteria. In fact, these guys tend to feed the bad bacteria. Bad bacteria tend to love to ferment extra protein that makes its way on down the GI tract. You need to feed the good bacteria the fuels they love. And if you are going to go carnivore, I highly recommend you support that with the blends of prebiotics. And I have a protocol for that. Because again, the carnivore diet is terrible for the microbiome. And eventually, could be months, could be years, could be days. It's just not going to really work out for you. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe. Also, somewhere around here, you can go to my website where you can schedule a consultation with me. You can also view the protocols. And here, you can watch the next video.